today we want us to change in gears and I want my dear student here to change them and I know it will be very amazing and very fantastic. So uh, the first day we can get you are adjust the seat. We can adjust the kit the way flexible, manage you can hang a clutch, break the kit you sour. So from there, the point number two, you apply your safety belt. As you have a belt, you can use your belt, you can use your belt, and you can use your safe size to go ahead. So the next thing, you can use your clutch, 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 you can use your neutral size. So you can make sure you can use your clutch, you can use your clutch, you can use your clutch, you can use your clutch. Not the hard brake, you can use your clutch, you can use your clutch. What you can use your clutch, you can use your clutch, Gear and the hard brake. Nigani ya kwanza. The first thing ni weke gear ya kwanza because tu naenda mbele weke gear number one. The second thing you disengage hard brake wa chiria brake. Then we zako balance crash kwa tu one. Na kwa distance zema ni ten to two or kwa tu three. Haya red go. Inua crash pole pole. Iki vibrate. Imianza ku move. Yenye we tu ina move. Yes, ina move. Ah, guna mero mo nafuzo kwenye kupuka kwa ngalia side mirrors. It's good to go side mirrors for you the road to be make sure the road is clear. Now since we are moving, we are making sure everything is nice. Now you can see we na move for speed yang happy size. Ni tu metu ni kama 0.25 eh. 0.25 dia tu koyo speed yake. Tu na approach kabam kidogo so tu ta maintain tu hivo. Once tu mesha avuka bam, we nu eni ni clutch yote di upe accelerator. Ufa yu kanyanga accelerator na clutch at the same time. You must release the clutch for you to do what we call accelerating or maybe pressing the gas. So press the gas kindly. Press the gas. Good. Because speed yang happy size, pay gas, pay gas as you observe. Speed yang happy. 20. At 20 sasa eh. Good. So watch accelerating. Someone is overtaking you. When being overtaken, do not accelerate. Good. I have a kidogo. Kuna mingine pia. Watch our pite. I have a kidogo kidogo. Yes. Now, ikienda hivi inachoka. So we need to uh, change gear. So change gear, my dear student. Clutch in. Gear number two, nyuma kwangu. Una release. Clutch. Then una pair accelerate. You accelerate now. Good. Accelerate now. So now, that's how to change gear number two. Very simple and very easy. So maybe in case your instructor is not guiding you on how to do this, you can, you can kindly visit me and I'm going to show you how to change gears without any problem. You can see even the way my dear student is holding the steering. He's holding the steering, what we call 10 to 2 clockwise, and that is the best for him. And someone else can hold the steering quarter to three, but depending maybe with how you feel that now you are good to handle the steering. Now let us go, my dear student. This is very easy. Maybe if you are riding your your vehicle, maybe if you are driving your vehicle, mukiyonge na mwali mwa ko ina kuanga very easy. Now in this case, we are heading to our right, so my student will indicate to the right. Chini, chini. Good, then you check whether the road is clear. My side is clear, your side is clear. Now you can turn to your side, to your side, turn to your side. Completely. Yes. Kuangu kabisa, you keep left. Keep left, yes, nice, that way. Na inisha kwako kidogo. Good, higher. Now after the bump, now you can accelerate a little bit. Checking your side mirrors from the both sides. Yes, good one. No, we hope you can see this sign here. Wow, nice sign here, pa. Yes. Where is your sign? You must have a size equal to yours, do you? Yeah. In a sense, maje. With the stop and give way sign. So it means kuna barabiri toka to the right, inge to the left. Kuna hii yatu nemeenda straight. Straight. Now it gets to the left because we're heading to our left. Good. Nice one. Koko kidogo. Nice. Hapo. Then kata kuangu. The road is clear. Kabisa kata kuangu. Kata kata kabisa, now accelerate, la inisha kwako Accelerate, 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 accelerate kabisa Nice one That one was a somehow a hile, a hile press And I know to metobo na mwanafuzu wangu These guys, they are very courageous in the road Na saizi wa hawezi wakasema wakombaya Muko wache, dear student Tuko chonjo kabisa Yes, so whatever I'm teaching you guys is able and variable So since we are in a rough road Na inakaa ikora mawe mingi mingi diyo tuwa void gari zizime What we are going to do here We are going to put gear number one So press the clutch in complete and apply gear one Apply gear one Good, release the clutch slowly Release again, this again Hold there Now that's what we call rolling point Maintain, indicate to the right Chini, indicator, good Upitia left vizuri 
vivo kiria kata kuwako now where you cannot see beyond you as a driver we call it a bride spot a bride spot is where you cannot see beyond you cannot see beyond are we together we call it a bride spot now bride spot what are you going to do you must keep left and make sure you hook like twice do you were easy na ndio itakuwa mzuri accelerate accelerate do you mzuri na rahisi accelerate check your side mirrors good Nice. So if you are observing here, my dear student is changing even gears without me telling him. Because now he knows the reasons why you should change gears. The reason why you should change gears and which gear for whichever, for whatever. Now I should teach my dear student that gear number one, it is for starting the vehicle. And that should be speed from zero to five or ten speed kilometers per hour. Now gear number two, that is whenever you want to speed. You want to speed. And that is from... 20 to 40 speed gear number three is best and good when you are overtaking gear number three is good when you are overtaking are we together and that's enough it should be around to speed you get to the right to ingili hapo chini good the bidu the reduce weke gear number one eh? clutch in now to me sama gear number three it is good when you are uh, overtaking now gear number four it is good whenever you want to maintain the speed that is for gear number four Are we together for those who are watching me? Yeah. Now, gear number five, it is not necessarily much. Most of, this is the clutch and the accelerate. Most of us, we should have pray, uh, pray in between gear number three and gear number four. That is the best. So gear number five, see that's my work. Because gear yako itako imesha enda kabisa na itako iko much better. Now, since we are in love road, we are going to maintain gear number one and we are not going to accelerate to maintain a specific speed. And that one will help even our vehicle not to get what we call minor, minor, like puncture, maybe minor damages. Are we together? So that's why we maintain to gear number one without not accelerating and we maintain that speed. Kindly hope you are liking this. So subscribe, like, comment and ask me a question. And kindly guys, if you want to visit me, you can get me via my WhatsApp number. It is just right there and you can even watch my previous episode that I know you are going to learn and get much. Right now, as I usually tell you, it is good to have what we call a student-instructor relationship. If you build your good relationship with your mwalimu, it will be much better. And you don't entertain or maybe uh, put it in a way that you don't want to learn what we call theory lessons. Theory lesson will help you to improve whenever you are in the road. Because knowing how to drive, you must prepare your mind. Your mentor must be ready, must be prepared area. So that's why I literally guide my dear student, before we go for a practical, let us go and uh, learn what we call theory lessons, because it will help us to activate everything. Now, for example, before to the practicals are easy, to me attend theory lessons. Na student wangu, kuna science wa mesoma pale. Si meona science pale? Yes. Na tumeyona kwa baraba? Kwa barabara. So that one will help you as a student to gain more and much. And remember, if you know mwalimu anakufunza kwa theory and anakufunza practical, inakuwa rahisi and easy kwako kuelewa hii kitu haraka sana. But when you have an instructor mwenyako kwa theory and tafuta mwenyako kwa practical, okay, most of the dear students yo nangi wakiflaia sana. But it is good to understand na kuzoea different instructors. Do you much better and much easier. But for me, I am here to guide you every step. So kindly remember to subscribe, like, and ask me the question. Kindly like, like, share this video with your family and friends, and I know we are going to get more and better than we, we needed. So thank you very much for watching and tuning in to BIG Media TV Driving Lessons. I am your best and good instructor. Let us meet in the next episode. Kudos.